Microsoft OneNote is the note-taking application that is built into Microsoft 365. But have you ever thought about using OneNote with other Microsoft applications as a project management tool? Well, that's the topic for today's video. But before we start, just a quick introduction as always. My name is Jonathan Edwards, also known as Bearded 365 Guy. I help businesses all over the world with the Microsoft 365. Now you can find more information at bearded365guy.com. Now for me, Microsoft OneNote is almost the forgotten app within Microsoft's armory. Microsoft have released all these new fancy products like Microsoft Loop, and then there's Copilot, and little old OneNote seems to have been forgotten about. I mean, even OneNote's interface is a bit dated. But make no mistake about it, for me, OneNote is still an incredibly powerful tool within Microsoft 365. Now in today's video, we're gonna look at using OneNote with other Microsoft applications for you to be able to manage projects. Let's get started. Now, one of the biggest hurdles that I see when people are trying to get started with OneNote is they don't know where to start. They launch the OneNote application and it's a blank canvas and they get a little bit overwhelmed. Now, for you to be able to get started properly, it's important that you understand the OneNote structure. Now, within OneNote, you have something called notebooks and these are just like a physical notebook that you would write in. Now, within each notebook, there are something called sections. And then, within sections, you have pages. Now, I hope that makes sense. It's all very logical. Now, when it comes to project management, there are two ways that you can set up your OneNote structure. You could keep it really simple, and you could create a new notebook for every project that you're working on. Now, within that notebook, you'd have to divide it up into sections and pages. So I suppose the project would have to be quite big. Or a simpler way of doing it is you could create one notebook and call it something like My Projects. And then each section in that notebook could be a different project that you're working on. And within each section, you'll have multiple pages. You want to know how that looks in reality? Let's hop onto that computer behind me and I'll show you. So I'm in OneNote here. I'm in the OneNote desktop app. Now you can see I've got no notebooks here. So to add a notebook, I will go to File, Highlight New, and then I'm gonna stick my notebook in my OneDrive and I'll put it into Notebooks there. This will pop up now and it's gonna ask me to name my notebook. So if I'm just gonna have one notebook for all of my projects, then I could name this notebook my projects and then I click on create. Now at this point OneNote is going to ask me if I want to share my notebook. At the moment I'm going to click on not now and you can see that my projects notebook has now been created. So just to show you around here there's my notebook here. Underneath there is my section so I've got new section one. I can add new sections by clicking on here. And then we move over to the pages. So again, OneNote has given me a page. It's called Untitled at the moment, but I can add pages there. So what I'll do, because this is gonna be one notebook for all my projects, I will rename this to Larry's Law. So that's one of my clients and I'm gonna be doing a project for them. I'll then add a new section for another client. I'll rename it like that and then add a third section, rename it. So this is one way that you could structure your projects. We've got one notebook and then we've got different sections for each of our clients. And within those sections, we've got different pages. If you wanted to have one notebook for each of your projects, then you go through the same process. You just create a new notebook, but you might name that notebook the name of the project. So now we've got our notebook set up and we've got our clients in our notebook. What do we do next? So now we've created our OneNote structure, but it's still a bit of a blank canvas. Now there's a few ways you can get started. You can start adding pages, you can start typing, you can start adding images, you can do that if you want. But a way that's gonna save you time is by using something called templates in OneNote. Now Microsoft have provided a few templates to get you going. 
A template is just a page that you can keep producing in a OneNote page. Or what you can do is you can start creating your own personalized templates. You want to look at templates? Let's go. So we're on Larry's Law here. What I can do, I can go over to my untitled page and I could kick this project off. So I could name this page Project Overview and I can simply start typing my notes. I can add all kinds of things to my notes, files, tables, online videos, notes, or I can just free type. Now that all seems okay, but it also seems a little bit long-winded. So is there a bit of a shortcut that I could use here to get my project off the ground? Well, there is, and those are the project templates. So what I can do instead, I could go to insert, I can go over to page templates, and there's some page templates here, but if I just click on page templates, all the Microsoft templates will appear here. Now these are just Microsoft ones that they've added. We've got academic, blank, business, decorative, and planners. If I just click on the drop down next to business, you can see that there's a few different templates that I can choose. So let me choose project overview. Now it's obviously created another page here, so I'll go ahead and delete this one. But this is the project overview template. Now it's a good starting spot and it saved me a whole heap of time. But this template from Microsoft might not suit me. So what else can I do? Well, I can create my own templates as well. That would be really powerful. So rather than completely change this, I'll just delete some of these off the bottom here. Now, as I said, you could create a new page and you could design your own template. And when you're happy with it, you could simply go to templates and you could save the current page as a template. It's gonna ask for a template name. You can give it there and I can simply save it. Then when I want to add the template, you can see at the top, there's a My Templates and it's there. So I can simply add that template and you can see that it's added another page, but it's the amended template, okay? So project templates in OneNote are a great time saver. Now, when it comes to project management, you will be managing lots of tasks. Tasks that you have to do and tasks that other people have to do. So how can you manage all of these tasks within OneNote? Well, we can take advantage of a fairly new integration with Microsoft Loop. We can add a Microsoft Loop component, which is a task board, and we can start creating tasks and assigning those tasks to other people. All those tasks then synchronize back to Microsoft Planner. Now, I'm gonna jump on and show you this integration right now, but at the time of filming this video, this integration is only available in OneNote for the web. It's not available on OneNote as the desktop app. Let me show you. Okay, so I'm just gonna move out of the OneNote application on my desktop, and I'm gonna go over to OneNote for the web. Now you can see it's virtually the same. There's a few differences, but this is the web version. Now I'm focusing again on Larry's Law. So I'm, again, I've got two project overviews here. Let me delete one of them, so I'll delete this one. Okay, I want to add another page in here. So I'm gonna go over to here, click on page, and I'm gonna add the name of this page, task to complete, and I'll click in here. And then I'm gonna go over to the insert tab here. Now you can see there's a tab here called loop components. Now I've got a bunch of videos on my channel all about Microsoft Loop, so do check them out. But for now, I'm gonna click on here, and you can see I can add various different loop components into this OneNote section. So if I go down to templates and task list, it's gonna add a task list and this is a loop component. Now let's start filling this out, shall we? So I can show you how it works. So the first task name is gonna be project kickoff. I'm gonna assign that to myself. We'll add another task, plan budgets. And again, I'm gonna add the assignee and I'm gonna assign that to myself again. Okay, we can continue adding tasks this way. Also with this, I can look at this in different ways. So at the moment, this is part of a bucket called to do. So I can switch this to board view and you can see in a different view. I'll switch it back now to this. And you can see I've got a tab here called task apps. Now I can open these tasks in my Microsoft to do or in Microsoft planner. So I'll, I'll click on this one now and open it in to do. You can see that those tasks have now added into my Microsoft to-do. So I can create tasks 
right within OneNote using Loop components and all those tasks across myself and my team will synchronize back to my to-do application. Now, when it comes to projects, you're bound to send and receive lots of emails to do with that project. Now, wouldn't it be great if you could move those emails into OneNote so all the information about the project you're working on is all together? That'd be great, wouldn't it? Well, you can. I'll show you how. You can see I'm in my Outlook here and I've got an email and the subject is the Larry's Law project. Now, if I open here, you can see that some important information about the project I'm working on. Now, rather than leave this email in my mailbox, I want it really in my OneNote along with the project. So I've got all the project information together. Now you can see here, there's a OneNote icon and it says send to OneNote. Now I'm using the new Outlook and you might not see this. And if you can't see this OneNote icon, you simply go to the three dots here, you go to customize actions and you make sure that this is ticked. So it's quite easy to add it and then it stays there. So I'm gonna send this to my OneNote. It's gonna pop up here. And you can see that I've got my notebooks here. Now, if I go to my projects and I go to Larry's Law, I can then click on save. And it's gonna save that email into my OneNote. So I can open it in OneNote there, or I'll just go back to the desktop app. And you can see here, Larry's Law project. And that's the email in its entirety. It's got all the information. I didn't put anything else apart from that. But what I could do, I could rename that to email received. And you can see I can keep all this within my OneNote. Now, what would you say is the most common Microsoft application that people use to collaborate today? Go on, I'll give you two guesses. Nope, nope, it's Microsoft Teams. So many businesses use Microsoft Teams to collaborate effectively. Now, I think it'd be really good if we could use Microsoft OneNote within our Microsoft Teams, then everything is together. Can you do that? I think you can. Now you can see I'm in my Microsoft Teams. Now this is just a demo account, but you can see there's a couple of Teams here from previous videos. Now the first thing I want to show you is when you add a channel to a team, you will always see a Notes tab along the top. And if you click on that, you can see that one now opens. So basically when you create a, a team, it has its own OneNote notebook already, okay? So you might want to reverse engineer this and you might want to start in Microsoft Teams. So if you've got a project going, you might want to create a channel which will automatically create a notebook and then you can go from there. What I've done in this video obviously is start from OneNote. But what you can also do is you can add existing notebooks onto an existing team. So if I click on the plus icon here and I simply search for OneNote, you can see it's here. It's gonna ask me now, I can either create a new one or I can add my existing ones. So this is my projects here. I could add Larry's Law, click on save. And you can see that that has been now, I've been added to my Teams channel. So you can absolutely use OneNote within your Microsoft Teams. Now, when it comes to projects, we're gonna have a lot of meetings and lots of these meetings will take place over Microsoft Teams. Now, wouldn't it be great if we could get the agenda, the meeting notes and the follow-up tasks over to OneNote? Then all of our information for that project is together. Well, we can do that again by using Loop Components. Let me show you how. Okay, we're back in Microsoft Teams and I'm looking at my calendar. Now you can see I've got a meeting coming up. It's called Larry's Law Project Kickoff. Now I've got a previous video on my channel all about this loop integration. But what I'm gonna show you in this video is how it applies to OneNote. So if I go into here and I just minimize that, you can see at the bottom it says add an agenda, okay? This you will recognize from earlier because all it is is a loop component. So what I could do is start adding the agenda here. Okay, we've got introductions, budgets, project timeline, okay? We've got a section here for meeting notes and follow-up tasks. But for the moment, what I want to do is simply join this meeting. Okay, I'm in the meeting. So pretend there's other people in the meeting. We're chatting about Larry. First thing we're gonna do is during the meeting, we're gonna add some meeting notes. Okay, we've had some meeting notes. And again, 
let's add some follow-up tasks. Okay, there's a couple of follow-up tasks. It's now time to leave the meeting, so we'll do that. Again, as I said, if you want a full video on this loop component in Microsoft Teams, check out my YouTube channel. But you can see, I'll just come out of here. After the meeting is finished, I can go back into that meeting and we can see here. So we've got some tasks, we've got the meeting notes, and we've got the agenda. Now, wouldn't it be fantastic if we're project managing in OneNote, if we could put this within OneNote? Well, we absolutely can. I can simply click on here, copy component, and then I'm gonna go back to OneNote on the web, because if you remember, loop components aren't yet compatible with OneNote desktop. So I'm back in Larry's Law, what I can do is I can create another page and I call this Teams Meetings. Now we've just had the project kick off, so I'll put that in here. And then I will simply paste. And you can see that that has appeared in my OneNote. So then what I can do with subsequent meetings, I can put a header there. And that way we can have all our Teams Meetings within OneNote. We can see what's happened. We can look at the agenda. We can look at the follow-up tasks. And remember, those follow-up tasks also go through to our to-do. So all our actions are together. And we can just keep everything in one place. So that is using loop components with Teams and OneNote. Okay, so there you have it. The forgotten tool that is Microsoft OneNote. It's a pretty blank canvas. You can use it for many things, including managing your projects. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope I'll see you again soon.